Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to this June Sun emergency broadcast. Today we're unboxing I use 5th Gen Uena Fan Club Kit. I had no idea this was arriving today. No shipping notification. In fact, I checked my mail and ticket account this weekend and it said that it was not shipping and hadn't shipped. <laughs> and yet today, suddenly, it appeared. So naturally, I lost my mind and I have to unbox it immediately. First off, I've already taken off the plastic because my fan card was in here, my ID, and it has like my real name on it. I will show you it. I will cover up my name and my ID. But this is what it looks like this year. It's sort of like a clear frosted on the bottom and then a matte texture on the top. Now, here's what the box looks like. It's definitely taller than last year, I think. So I really wonder what's inside. I have not seen any spoilers yet, so I have no idea, but I love the design this year. I think it's really pretty. An alarm clock? What? Okay, let me let me take everything out. This is unwieldy. We'll start with this alarm clock, which is very interesting. I think it's quite cute. Or a cute idea, I mean. I don't know what it looks like yet. I've removed some of the plastic, but look at how adorable that is. And I think, yeah, this is a button. The snooze, oops, and the alarm set, I assume. I'm not gonna test it because um, nobody wants to hear that, but I definitely think it's super adorable to have on a shelf, even if you don't need an alarm clock. <gasps> I can't look. Okay, I need to put these photo cards away. Okay, first we have a little ID holder kind of thing, like an address plate, I suppose. You can insert like a card or a paper in it, but it looks like a little camera. How cute is that? And then it also comes with a little strap so you can attach it to something if you like. Next we have a couple magnets. These are very cute as well. I love the whole camera theme or the whole, or not even camera theme because there's an alarm clock as well. So maybe you could say it's like an analog theme which I think kind of suits her image quite well. All right, let's look at some of these cards. So there are two different back versions and I did see the ones on top at least. So I think one set is lenticulars. All right, so I believe these are the lenticulars, the ones with the back like this. So let's see the first one. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's literally her recreating like a childhood photo. Can you even see that? That is so cute. I love that. I love when people recreate childhood photos. I think it's adorable. Okay, next. Oh my gosh, it's another one. Stuff like this makes me so nostalgic and emotional. These are great cards. This is a really good idea, like a good way to use a lenticular. And next, the regular cards with the sander on the back. We have this one. Very pretty. I saw this one already on accident. And then we have this one. Very cute. Great cards this time around. I really love these. Okay, now we can get to the photo book or the magazine. It is a sort of like pebbled matte texture, which is quite, quite interesting. And of course, the classic IU lilac purple. Oh my gosh, wait, there's like stuff inside. That is, I'm, I'm gonna die, this is so cute. Let's take a look at these. All right, so the first one, that same thing from her childhood recreation photo. It's a little tape player. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there are messages per decade. So this one's 1990s. We have this one. And of course, 2000s. Wow, this concept is amazing. I like how the thing she uses to listen to music has changed through the decades as well. That's quite funny. 2010s. And last, 2020s. That is so amazing. These are, this is like a great, Great, great concept. All right, now let's do a flip through of the photo book and I will flip through this relatively quickly, I think. I don't wanna bend the cover too much. All 
Another thing I like about these decades is that they are meaningful to me as well because I'm actually one year younger than her. Ooh, I love this peach color. It's gorgeous. that is gonna do it for IU's fifth gen UNA fan club kit. I loved last year's but honestly I really love this one even more. I feel like every part of it conceptually was kind of like an elevation compared to the previous year. I love it. I think it's amazing. All right that's all for now y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye!